welcome to the channel ladies and gents today will be an unboxing video we've never really done this here on the channel before but this is a new i mean you can tell what it is it's a big brake kit for the nissan pulsar gtir uh, and i thought we would just go through it and unbox it basically together so one if you're new here please do hit subscribe we've got loads of people that watch that are actually not subscribed about 50 percent of you so it'd be really cool we're trying to hit 10,000 subscribers by the middle of the year i know we can do it please do hit subscribe and guys please do share the video because it really helps out so this is k sport they do these big brake kits for loads of different cars um, and they measure them up based on wheel sizes so this is the six pot big brake kit for the nissan pulsar gtir i read online i did some research you can get a whole range of different big brake kits for this car you could get willwood k sport um there's loads there are quite a lot of kits now willwood uh on the forums is not that good it's it, they're actually really really quite small um in terms of the diameter of the rotor which surface area really matters when you're braking as does the amount of uh, pistons on the caliper because the size of the caliper also directly relates to the diameter of the rotor willwoods are quite small this is the medium sort of one I could find medium in cost, medium in reviews. The main thing that loads of people don't like about the K-Sports are the pads, but this actually came with EBC yellow stuffs. So that being said, I think this will actually be much, much better than I thought it was going to be because it doesn't have shitty K-Sport pads. So let's open this up and take a look. I have opened this up myself because I needed to make sure. Uh, this is for a car with a 16 inch wheels, I believe. This is uh, the 304 millimeter rotors. They are two piece rotors, which helps with, um, uh, it helps lightweight basically, um, and also venting. You c I, I initially got 330, but I realized my wheels were actually smaller than I thought they were, so I had to go down. Um, I don't know if these are actually gonna fit yet because my car is still not back uh, from having its engine completely rebuilt. Side note, if you, uh, are new here and you weren't aware i'm having a completely forged uh, nissan pulsar gtir engine the sr20 det also massive thumbs up for the 4k please ladies and gents so this is the rotors it comes with everything uh, just as, a, as an fyi so these are the rotors uh, they're beautiful looking rotors uh, they are vented this is so this is this is part of the kit basically i believe these are actually brackets mounting brackets for your lines uh, it even comes with nipples <laughs> uh, for your uh, new calipers uh, and also instructions so I'll pop that up there this is the EBC uh, I, I believe these are yellow stuff pads they look like yellow stuff pads anyway this is the pads which it's coming which it does come with that's a another pamphlet which I've already pulled out this is a uh, fitting uh, there's a I've got another one in there somewhere uh, and these are the lines, so fittings, steel braided lines. It's actually a pretty, pretty damn comprehensive kit. I'm not going to lie. Um, I was genuinely impressed with the kit. No, oh, Jasp, your oh, mate, good boy. So in here, here we have one of the rotors. So here you have it. So floating, uh, two-piece floating rotor. They're not, they're not super light, they are actually pretty heavy, uh, but these are 304 mil. Um, nice, nicely manufactured, they look pretty decent. You can see the big vents in there. So not only are they uh, slotted, which will increase the uh, cooling of the rotor anyway, but they have massive, massive vents in there as well, which you can see. Uh, and then the middle piece, which is why two piece rotors are so good. The, um, the middle pieces, of course. Uh, a lightweight material as well. So we'll pop that one there. I mean, I can lift that with my hands, so it's not that heavy. Uh, and then we've got the other one in here, which I'm not going to get out because there's not really any point. Um, just to show you, just to show you, there's not really any point. It's exactly the same as that uh, one over there, just a different size. Uh, and here we have what most people are probably going to be really excited about because this is what people think of when you think of braking. You're like, oh, the caliper. You know, how cool is that, the caliper? And, and admittedly, the calipers are cool. You know, caliper, color, the size of them, it all looks cool, um, but it is a combination of the rotor slash caliper. 
But this is a big, this is a big, big, big caliper. Uh, I was genuinely surprised at how large it really was, what she said. Um, and and I'm, I'm, I'm reasonably impressed, actually, with how it's manufactured. So, it looks to be billet, billet uh, one big piece of billet. So you've got two big pistons and then one smaller piston, but it is a six piston, six pot caliper. So one, two, three, and then obviously on both sides it's dual, so which makes your uh, six pistons. It's interesting that the uh, pads obviously just slide in there and then you've got this locator through here. I like the anodized metal there, quite nice. And just to put it into perspective, so just to put it into perspective guys, it is literally the size of my head. But that's a big, big, big caliper. I was actually gonna do the whole video just behind camera, but just to really throw it into perspective, this is huge and it's very, very nicely made. Um, there was some nonsense in the materials to say that this is like some special thing that they've made. It's a bloody decal, mate. Shut up. Um, it's literally just a decal. But that's super, super nice. Really, really cool. And then, ladies and gents, in here... So that's the other side. Don't need to look at that. There's not any point. Um, but in the kit, it also comes, of course, with the mountain brackets that you need. Uh, and this is all the mountain bracketry. It also comes with new hardware. Good. Really, really good. Um, like, you... <laughs> You know, there's a lot to be said for hardware and mounting materials uh, actually, you know, coming with the stuff, um, which is good. Like, I'm, I'm really looking forward to trying to do this uh, and obviously posting it here on the channel for you guys as well. That's, that's both sides. And then in here, here, ladies and gents, we have the uh, aforementioned uh, yellow stuffs, which I'm pretty sure they're yellow stuffs. Yeah, they are yellow stuffs. Um, so a lot of people's complaints about this kit uh, is that the pads are crap. This uh, obviously removes that as a problem, to be perfectly honest. Now, I will tell you my personal thoughts on yellow stuffs. I don't really like them. Uh, I've used them on my 370Z. They're fine. You know, they are good. They kick out a lot, and I do mean a lot, of brake dust, and they squeal. Now, squealing, you know, it's dependent on what you want the car for, Um you know, most people will drive a car and, you know, they'll know that it squeals. Uh, and that's because they've got sport pads in there. It's just, that's just part of the course with these kind of pads, right? The kind of compound that they use and things like that. They do squeal, but it's still a pain in the ass and it looks a bit crap. And, you know, it just sounds a bit crap, sorry. Uh, and the amount of dust that kicks out is really annoying. Um, but still, I think this will remove a lot of the problems that a lot of people have noted uh, about this kit. You know, because the main problem people say is that the pads are shit. Uh, and because it doesn't come with case port pads, it comes with EBC yellow stuffs. So I'm hoping this will actually maximize the performance. So there you have it, ladies and gents. Unboxing the kit. Uh, I've shown most of it to you. Um, there's not an awful lot else to really show you. But there you go. What do you guys think? Pretty comprehensive. I'm pretty happy. We'll be swapping up the uh, brakes on the Pulsar GTIR for big brake kit. Uh, soon, the moment I get the car back, uh, I'll be driving it around because uh, it's got new power. It'll be like 350 horsepower, fully forged as well. Um, so this will be one of the key jobs I do at least come spring because, well, I can't drive around in loads and loads of power with the shitty little brakes that, that are on there. So let me know what you guys think down below. Please do hit subscribe. Give the video a big thumbs up. Thank you so much. Take care. Oh no, wait. Love you all. Bye.